All right. Shalom. Shalom. We're going to get started here in a second. Get the camera adjusted. All right. As always, we're giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kadash. All right, Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son. And our Lord and Savior from the world, even though it's Jesus Christ by Hashem Kadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the inspiration given to us to edify those that have ears to hear. All right, double honors to the Apostle Nels of Great Millstone. Peace, sad taste to the whole for the leg brethren, faithful and diligent preaching this word with fear and trembling. Shalom warm to the believers that subscribe to this truth through the spirit of power your heart by Shimmy Howard Shot. All right, so we the GMS Memphis Kemp. All right, coming at you with a, a quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. Uh, and we just want to address, uh, you know, the judgment that's coming down at the pump, okay? <laughs> uh, turning up pressure at the pump is what we're going to entitle it, all right? And we know that uh, these elite bankers control the supply of the uh, of the oil. They control the uh, the petrol dollar, all right. And nevertheless, it's all a part of their agenda to establish their what new world order, all right, within their B system, which is ultimately going to lead to the solution being what the big McChip imps, okay. So uh, right now, uh, everything is gradually building up to the final judgment, the hour of temptation. All right, and uh, you know, just the other day, because I do I do ride share like a lot of brothers in the church do. Uh, you know, I filled up at the pump. This was Thursday, right? Or uh, no, this was this was uh, this was Wednesday. It's a lot. This was Wednesday. I filled up at the pump. And then, man, less than like six hours later, I come back by that same station where I filled up and gas prices had shot up five cents, man. Okay, so they, they're, they're, they're uh, climbing exponentially, all right? And this is going to lead to people being in heavy distress, all right? Which is going to ultimately uh, cause uproars, all right? It's going to cause uh, 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 violence to increase, all right? And you're going to see America... Uh, circling the drain more and more, which has been circling the drain for some time now, but you're going to start to feel the effects of it, all right? And those that are not in the righteous spirit, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, you're going to be in, 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 in mourning, okay? You're going to be in 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 uh in that spirit of, of lamentations, mourning, and woe, man, okay? But we're going to be rejoicing because this is the time that we have been looking forward to is seeing the uh the spirit of how about she how shot come upon this place and bring forth judgment all right now brother got an article all right we're gonna get a precept to open up with and he gonna grab the article uh right after you got precept yeah this is luke 21 and 22 for these be the days of vengeance that all things which are when may be fulfilled mm -hmm. and the lord is about to bring his vengeance upon the planet earth man all right great tribulation a time like no other you know, matter of fact, load that scripture up. All right, go ahead. It said, But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But mm -hmm. there should be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. There shall be great distress, all right, in the land and wrath upon this people. All right. So ultimately, what you see, the Lord using uh, uh, Esau, Edom, okay, as his sword to bring. His vengeance, his wrath and distress upon the wicked, okay? The wicked is, is being used before he's destroyed, okay? Because he's the source of all of this that you see going on. But the Lord ultimately, uh, uh, what's the word? Authorized him, gave him the authorization uh, to be that pale horse, okay? He, he was given that power, okay? To bring what? Death, famine. And the, the, the rise in gas prices is going to lead to this, okay? Like I said, and it's all a part of that solution that they already got set to uh, 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 digi digitize you, okay? Make you a, a digital uh, cyborg, yeah. all right? Yeah. Go ahead. You going to say something? No, you got it. Go okay. ahead. They say 24. It said, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations in Jerusalem 
in Jerusalem should be trying down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Right, you should be trying down. Look up that term, trying down. Right? That's what's, that's what's going on, man. You know, the beast is showing his teeth and he's applying pressure. He's putting in, he's putting a foot on the necks of you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and Hispanics, man. All right? And your dream to have success and to have a... Uh, a, uh, 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 a a future here in America, <laughs> you know, which he sold you a dream, all right? Because he he don't he don't desire for uh, the world to prosper and re and rejoice and be and be in a peaceful state because he doesn't uh, have that spirit in him to bring forth in the earth, all right? He's just the opposite of peace, okay? Go ahead, bro. This uh, outline baby uses in the Greek trodden down. G thirty nine sixty one, Pateo, Pateo. Yeah, Pateo. To tread, to trample, crush with the feet. To crush with the feet, man. Okay. So, <laughs> look, the found the foundation of America was built upon this man trodden uh, uh, down the Native Americans, Latinos, uh, uh, and, and so called Negroes, man. Okay. So if he's about to go into a global reset and set up a uh, pretty much a new system, what you think gonna change? He gonna do the same shit he been doing, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like Sam and AD, hey, hey, nothing new under the sun, man. We finna, the devil to come down having great wealth because you know he had but a short time, you know? So he finna come down hard, man. That's right, <laughs> that's right, bro. Guns blazing. And it like says that. until the times of the, it's more on the definition? That's pretty much it. I was just wanna address this, Point. It says until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Now this is talking about the actual heathen. All right. Matter of fact, uh, Job. What is it? Job fourteen and five. Mm -hmm. Jump there real quick. Okay. Job fourteen and five. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. The numbers. The number of his months are with the Most High, and that's going into Esau, Edom. The, the 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 number one heathen because the word Gentile here is talking about the heathens in Luke 21 and 24. So until his time is fulfilled, go ahead. That has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. That has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So he's going to be able to do so much, all right, in the earth until the Most High takes him out of the way. Go ahead. Keep going. Mm -hmm. It said, "Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish." Is in Highland is it his day. Right. So turn away from him until he has 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 done his duty. All right. To what the most high set him up to do. And that's ultimately to take peace from the earth, man. Okay? And, and you're gonna see this come to a, a all-time chaotic uh age, man. Like it ain't gonna be no it, matter of fact, we gotta get the article, you know what I'm saying, before I get carried away. But the scriptures talk about what uh a time like no other so you can load that after you finish this bro keep going uh yeah read 25 go back to luke yep so back in luke 21 25 mm -hmm. it said and there should be signs in the sun and in the, in, in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations the stress of nations man go ahead with per perplexity which perplexity goes into being confused all right, and and you see, as soon as we come out of a pandemic, all right, allegedly, all right, <laughs> a pandemic rather, they go right into this uh, time of uh, hyperinflation, all right, prices increasing on everything, all right, and the whole time we was uh, in the so-called uh, CVID protocol, you know, they was uh, calling themselves trying to make everything better by stimulating the people and pushing out all this money. But the whole thing is to cause a reason to push out the money so they'll be justified in their wickedness in the eyes of the people that don't know how they operate, man. Okay? But nevertheless, what, uh, what'd you say? Keep going. Yeah, you can read uh, verse 27, I mean 26. Yeah, it said, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves warring. You know? Mm -hmm. See, people gonna be terrified, man. It said 26, 26 man's hearts Felling down for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, mm -hmm. for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Right, and people know 
in the spirit that there's bad times coming, man. Okay? And people are panicking. And you can you can feel the tension like <laughs> when you go to the pump to fill up, man, people got looks of distress on their face, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they looking at that, they looking like you see motherfuckers looking at the goddamn numbers on the pump. We like like they about to, you can see they, they got them uh, uh -oh. chest, the air filling up in their chest. People exhaling for frustration, like damn. Yep. You know, my coworker was talking about it. It's <laughs> so bad, I, I, and I always tell him, "So you gonna only gonna get worse." It's only gonna get worse, man. You know, and they mad at uh, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> they talking shit about him. Yup. You know. Yup. Can I read this in the NRT? Uh, let them, let them, let them get the, uh, let them get the. Uh, what you want to read? 26 in yeah, the NLT? Real quick. Go ahead. It said people would be terrified at what they see coming upon the earth. Mm. But the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Yup. You got that. Yup. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, the gas prices in the political uh, news.com. And it says gasoline prices spike to an all time high again. Mm -hmm. Again. The nationwide average price for a for a for a gallon of regular gas was four four dollars and thirty seven cents. Gas prices are displayed at a BP gas station in in Elgin. Gasoline and diesel fuel prices hit an all time high on Tuesday, just two months after the last record breaking prices were recorded. The nationwide average price. For a, a gallon of regular gas was four dollars and thirty-seven cents. A seven a seventeen cent jump just in the past week, according to AAA. While diesel clocked in at five dollars and fifty-five per gallon, that surpassed a record high price from early March. A surge that touched off a wave of talk in Congress about a possibly waiving the federal gas tax in which caused several states to create a state level gas tax holidays that was it yeah yeah so, going. uh i mean that's the that's the point but you know it's it's record-breaking uh rising gas prices man you know they they already at an all-time high but they're increasing at an all-time level so you see what I'm saying? That's that's that, that's like pressure from above and pressure from beneath. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're not even you're not even uh, sure that whatever the gas price is right now is going to be that price tomorrow. So what does that do? People that's able to afford to buy more gas and diesel are going to go ahead and say, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and store up for whatever the price is right now." Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And that's why. Uh, like the priest Mike Allah in Dallas just did a lesson uh, dealing with the shortage of diesel altogether. Why is it a shortage of the other fuel? All right, because people are, are hoarding it up too, you know, especially these truckers. Like these truckers, like, shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? If, if price is going up this fast, I might as well go ahead and, you know, invest now. You know what I'm saying? And then people that, that, that's got homes that, they got generators, you know, it's it's uh talk of rolling blackouts and shit coming. Okay? So people are preparing. People know that it's trouble coming, man. Only Jake uh in the hood and around here in these uh docile environments are clueless to what's going on. You know, mainly the so-called uh Negroes, all right, Latino Native Americans that are not a part of this truth, you're gonna be the, the ones that's gonna catch the most hell, man. And that's prophecy, all right? You got that uh, Jacob's uh, trouble. Mm. And uh, you brothers got precepts. We can, we can get a few more. Yeah, this is Jeremiah 30. I'm going to start at 6. Man, what? It's like you. This is Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask, ask ye now and see what a man do travail with child. Mm -hmm. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? It's a woman in travail, and our faces are turned to paleness. Yep. You know? So basically, they're going to be like women that day, you know? <laughs> you see? They'll be sick in the face, terrified, man. They say, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. 
It is even the time of Jacob trouble, but he should be saved out of it. It said that for there is no day like it, man. Okay, uh, it's gonna be a time in the earth like no other, man. All right, and this is what we are vastly approaching. We're getting closer and closer to this every day, and the times are speeding up. As the Lord said, He's gonna shorten the time for the elect saint. I don't want to hear what is it. Go ahead, bro. I will for the uh, I will for the read this part. It's, this is Matthew chapter twenty-four. Verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Mm -hmm. Jump down to 20, uh, 21 verse. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not seen the beginning of the world to the time nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yeah, man. And, and you see uh you see this happening in real time okay you see this happening in real time the, the uh the devil coming down with gray wrath because he know it that he had but a short time all right he understands really when you read in wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter he understands what the israelites waking up to this truth means for his uh livelihood on this earth all right it means his time is up you have more that was it Okay, go ahead. Huh? The second is the 16, starting at 36. Be, um. Behold, the word of the Lord receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Mm -hmm. It's when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Mm -hmm. I Meaning what? They're not going to turn down. You know, so the gas, hey, the gas will keep going up, man. This is the year of the tunnel. Yeah, about so much shot turning up. So the class is not about to turn down, man. You know, Jake don't turn down. So yeah, I shot ain't for the turn down, man. That's right. So 39. Even so, should not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows should come upon it on every side. And that's what we've seen, distress. Yep. They said, oh, my people, my people, hear my word, make you ready to that battle. And those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. That's right. Yeah. Meaning waiting for a miracle, man. <clears throat> you know? And that's why, and that's why in this time, the elect of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we're not going to fold fall to the distress. All right. We're not gonna like, cause we feel the pressure too. But guess what? Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. We're stable through understanding the Lord's righteous judgment, having to go forth, okay? And with that mixed with faith, us knowing, okay, because knowing is half the battle, faith is the rest, okay? Believing that the Lord is going to deliver those that are faithful to his word. So what we're going to do is wait for the Lord to deliver us and show us a way to escape this beast and his system, man, yep. which he is going to do, man, okay? The Lord said he, he will not turn from it, man. Remember, as Jacob... Uh, uh, will not utterly be destroyed. He will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, okay? It say Jacob shall be saved, uh, he will be saved out of it. That's going into the elect. So you're supposed to be looking for that salvation to come, man, okay? But salvation can't come if you're not in that uh, helpless, you gotta be to the point of helplessness. Like you, go, you, you need to be ready and prepared in the mind to be reduced down to nothing and have nothing to deliver you except your faith in your heart by Shem Yahweh Shah. Don't depend on any asset or anything that you have at this very moment to be the means of your uh, uh, salvation in the times of trouble, man. Okay? Other than this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? So this is, uh, and it's going to get fucking chaotic out here, man. It's going to get bad, man. Because pressure busts pipes, man. All right. This is uh Second Edges 15, and I'm gonna read this. This is the last one I got. Brothers can get anything they want to close on. This is Second Edges 15 and 17 and 18 and 19. I'm gonna read 17 through 19. It says, "A man shall desire to go in, into a city and shall not be able to." Right? They're gonna lock. They're gonna lock these streets up, man. Okay? It will be martial law, man. Okay? Because that's how chaotic it's going to be. Yo, you thought Tony Tony was bad. Shit, Tony Tony and Two Corner way. Right? Man, I'm telling you, man. No. And don't don't be surprised if they come right back with another uh, 
you know, plague, man. You know? Which, hey, the eight... Uh, the chicken flu. The chicken flu. <laughs> I done heard some other shit too that they talking about uh, supposed to be uh, 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 back on the scene. I done heard about a couple of different diseases, man. You know? But anyway, verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Mm -hmm. The houses the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Okay? So you got to understand uh, uh, the houses is not just going into the physical house, but the actual uh upkeeping like people are not, not able to pay their bill bills man so they houses are going to go into foreclosure people going to get evicted people still behind from the fucking uh the 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 the, the, the goddamn thing man you know the, the covid man fuck it <laughs> shit <laughs> you know the goddamn covid man the divoc the divoc man it says verse 19 a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. So all this is going to trickle down. These rising uh, uh, prices at the gas pump, turning up the pressure at the pump is going to turn up the pressure in the gut. All right. You're going to see, man. Jake ain't going to be able to uh, go and buy food. Shit, it's going to be a lack of food in the stores for people that are able to buy the shit. So it's gonna be trouble on every side, man. Yep. Okay, and then we'll end with that. We are troubled, but but not perplexed on every side, cause that's the that's the uh, elect's way out, man. We have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay, yep. and we got faith in your heart, Hashem, your heart was shy, and He is able to deliver us from anything that this beast and this man uh, Esau Edom can bring upon the earth. Come. I got two really quick. Okay. This is Isaiah 41, starting 13. For I, the Lord, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Feel not, I will help thee. Feel not, that warm Jacob. And what, a warm and defenseless, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he can't protect himself, man. That's right. So the Lord called us warm. But he said, Feel not, that warm Jacob, ye men of Israel, I will help thee, said the Lord, and thou redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. It man. said, it said, he said, I will help thee. All right, and thy redeemer is who? Yahweh Shah. Right. All right. And it says uh, in Luke, the first chapter, uh, that who he's going to redeem, he has redeemed his people Israel. Okay. Israel is who he's going to redeem, man. Yep. And But only the ones that uh, that repent, turn from their wicked, wickedness, and come back to the obedience of his word, man. Yep. And it's John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye may have peace. Mm -hmm. In the world ye shall have tribu tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yep. So don't be afraid, man. If anything, we rejoice. Why? Because his words is coming to pass and it's a faith booster, man. And plus he said the Lord, plus he said, I have over I have overcome the world, man. Mm -hmm. So we already got the victory through Yahweh Shah. You know? So don't give up. You got the money, you got something? Oh, I ain't got All right, I got this. We'll close. It's uh, 2 Corinthians 4. Uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 4, and I'm going to start at 7. It says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Yep. All right? So uh, in order to redeem, in order to redeem something, you have to have the money. <laughs> right? So in order for us to be redeemed, uh, uh, by your heart, by Shimmy Howard Shop, we have to have the money, man. Okay? The money is this wisdom. Yep. You can make a point. I, I would say the fear. The fear. The, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know? Come on, man. And only, uh, only ones that fear is the elect. That's right. That's right. It says that the, ex the excellency of the power may be of the most high and not of us. Going back to what I was saying. Don't depend on any asset or anything that you have to be able to deliver you in the day of this trouble, man. Yep. All right? The only thing is the power of your heart by Shimmy Hawa Shai. And the power of your heart by Shimmy Hawa Shai is this word, man. Yep. Okay? We say we remember his last wife. That's right. It says, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken cast down but not destroyed mm -hmm. always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Yahweh Shah that the life also of Yahweh Shah might be made manifest 
in our body, man. Okay? So he, he had to be crucified, spit on, and ultimately he had to be killed, man. Okay? But in all of that, he he did, he never denied the will of his father. And just as he is our father, we can't deny his will, which is uh, 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 sanctioned by the Heavenly Father. Okay? So at the end of the day, man, stay strong. All right? Keep the faith. Keep pushing. All right? We almost out of here. Giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakwadash, Kwame Yasharala, Ababa Ba'al, Rise Israel, Destroy Confusion, Shalom, Labakhayim.